This week on Cannon Hall Farm TV, Farmer Ruth is going to give us an update on Orchid. She's getting really, really close to falling now. I'm going to be doing a lambing tutorial and I'm going to be looking how we keep the sheep's feet really healthy right up to lambing time with a bit of my help. Hi guys, Farmer Ruth here. We're just heading up to the roundhouse. We're going to go and see how Orchid is. Her due date is fast approaching, so we're just going to go and check and see how she's doing. And how long before she falls now, Ruth? There's only a few weeks left now, uh, so basically any time now. Um, so keep up watching her, keeping an eye on her, making sure she's got food, plenty of bedding. So she's obviously getting very, very close. So we just need to watch for next signs. So the next signs we're looking for uh, are basically getting up and getting down, being uncomfortable, keep lifting her tail. Um, all the rudder will do what's called wax up and fill up. So there'll be a, like a wax plug at the end of the udder, uh, so we're watching for that. And obviously when that happens, we need to keep a really close eye on her. Um, we will be uh, monitoring her constantly. And do you think she'll uh, fall on her own? I would hope she falls on her own. Now, I'd like her to. Um, obviously that's a fully natural birth. I don't want particularly us interfering. And we won't interfere. Um, the, I think the best, most we'll do is obviously when the foal's actually born, just make sure everything's okay. Um, if she does struggle, we'll contact that straight away and get their expert help in. So you're looking forward to meeting the fall then, Ruth? I am. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'm excited, but I'm really, really nervous as well. I just want to, uh, a healthy fall and a healthy uh, orchid. And then we'll get to see if it's a girl or a boy. This week, we're going to talk about lambing. Meet Larry is going to be helping me show you all the different techniques and uh, difficulties we can have at lambing time. Right guys, uh, I've got my lambing simulator which I made uh, out of uh, an old cardboard box in the style of Blue Peter. Um, what a great program that was. Right, I'm going to show you what I do inside a sheep when, when the, the lamb is, is just not coming out. This, this position is head first, no legs. I have to push the ropes on like that with my other hand, I pull it tight. So that's one, one of the ropes on the leg. Got, I've got the second leg there. It's helping because I can see what I'm doing, but normally you can't. Uh, right. Got that. So now what would happen is, these cuddly toys are a lot harder than the, the real thing. So I'm pulling the legs out nice and gently. I've got the head following. Go on, here we are. There we go. Right, we're gonna simulate a, a breech birth. Now, breech is when the lamb comes out bottom first. So now, I've got two legs coming out like that. And then you get the lamb out as quickly as possible because when the cord breaks, you start breathing the, the mucus in and you really don't want that. You can lose lambs like that. So you just bring it as quickly, quickly as you can. Out comes the lamb. It's happy as Larry. So guys, one of the most common things at lambing time is two lambs wanting to come out at the same time. So before you start actually delivering and pulling the lamb out, you have to make 100% sure, and, it, and it's more down to uh, experience than anything else. You have a feeling, to, you know, you know which is which. You, you, you can feel the size of the legs and everything. Sometimes you get bigger lambs than others and that, that helps a lot. So once you've got one out, the next one comes out very easily. Uh, but that is a, a, a common thing at lambing time. So I hope you've really enjoyed that. Our lambing starts on the 15th of February uh, and you'll probably see me wandering around the pens and uh, please feel free, come up and ask me any questions. And if you've really liked uh, that little uh, snippet, we could perhaps do carving next week. Catch you later guys, bye bye. Right, today we're looking at foot rot. It's the absolute scourge of every sheep farmer. It is. It's, it's prevalent far and wide throughout every flock in the country. At Cannon Hall Farm, we've managed to get it down to a really, really low level. And it's really through a program of vaccination and intervention when necessary. This is the antibiotic spray. We're gonna catch the sheep, we're gonna turn them over and we're gonna fix their feet. Oh really really important to turn them over in a very very gentle fashion they're pregnant so you've got to treat them with absolute kid gloves and that 
was kid gloves. Right, we're basically spraying between the toes, if you like, the two hoops. Uh, it gets a little bit uh, sweaty. Yeah, it does. Uncomfortable. And this just dries them up. And uh, th this one actually doesn't look too bad. No. I think uh, this might be the problem area. Yeah, a bit, a bit tender there. It's actually nice to see Rob actually doing some work back on the tools. There's quite often just one sore foot amongst the four and the back right one there is that said foot. So uh, it's been treated and hopefully do that for a few more days and she'll be uh, running about like a spring lamb. Right, that's the last one Rob. Well done. There you go. Thank you for watching Cannon Hall Farm TV. We really appreciate your support. And if you really liked it, don't forget to give us a like and a share.